Good morning. I woke up very congested, so um, I may have to pause the video from time to time. Um, I apologize. I'm in line at Need. Need is a place to get assistance with food. I've been having to come here off and on throughout the years. <coughs> I have never, never seen the line this long. There's like 10 cars in front of me, and there's a few behind me. I've never seen the line this long. This is sad. This is proof. The Biden regime is destroying this country. I've never seen the line for food assistance this long. But you know what? Those left behind are going to miss these days. It's just going to keep getting worse. But we won't be here. We'll be at the marriage supper. I'm so ready. I'm so ready. When you accept Jesus as Lord and Savior, your sins are completely washed clean. <coughs> Excuse me. Past, present, and future. We don't want to sin. We live for Christ. We don't live for this world. We don't live for these world leaders. We don't put our faith and trust in these world leaders. And in this country, that's both sides. Put your faith and trust in Yeshua. And whatever you're going through, <clears throat> just know you have Yeshua by your side. You have Heavenly Father. Always there. And you have brothers and sisters who love you so much. And I promise you, it's almost over. The shedding of Yeshua's blood washes our sins clean. He sacrificed himself for us. That's how much he loves us. All these world leaders that it's all about power, greed, control. When the bombs drop, they're going to go in their shelters that we paid for. In this country, that's both sides. Put your faith and trust in the King, Yeshua. Because we're all meeting at the marriage supper. Now, War News 247... <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to try and get through this. Gosh. This is in Greek. You have to translate it. Um, I don't have a computer. I'm using my phone. Um, with the phone, you just go in the settings. NATO officials in three years, a big war will break out with Russia in the Baltic. They are asking for free movement of troops in Europe. Wow, they got a lot of nerve, man. They will end the NATO-Russia founding act. Hmm. They want free movement throughout. Wow. <coughs> I don't know, I could be wrong, but um, I don't know much about politics or anything, but then that seemed like they wanted to basically be the, the ringleaders out there to, you know, anyway. NATO is expected to proceed with an update of all defense plans specifically for the protection of the Baltic countries. As an alliance analyzes, show that sooner or later there will be a confrontation with Russia. Well, that's, that's a given. I mean, it's definitely going to happen. <coughs> Excuse me. Eastern NATO countries have only three years to prepare for a Russian attack. The head of Poland's National Security Service, Jack, Jake, I don't know, Severa said in an interview with the, whatever that name is, newspaper. <laughs> I'm not going to try and pronounce it. According to him, the alliance must be prepared as quickly as possible. Quote, in my opinion, the time frames presented by the German analysts, see below, which they are, and they have below, are too optimistic. If war is avoided, the NATO countries on the eastern flank must prepare for confrontation on a shorter time horizon of three years. <clears throat> the time has come to create a capability on the eastern side that would send a clear message of deterrence to aggression, uh, Jack Severa said. He reminded that the military industry in the Russian Federation operates in three shifts and can restore its resources in the next three years. Severa urged NATO members not to ignore Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shogu's statement that Moscow would establish new bases and 12 new units in the Western Military District, adjunct to NATO's eastern flank in response to Finland and Sweden's intention to join the alliance. In a research paper published on November 8th, DGAP and Institute, an independent German foreign policy Sorry, that's a fire truck. I'm sorry. An independent German foreign policy research institute concluded that NATO should prepare for conflict with Russia in the Baltics and Eastern Europe. <coughs> Excuse me. For this reason, NATO countries should develop their capabilities. The time frame given by the Germans is five to ten years. In other words, that would be the amount of time it would take for Russia to rebuild its armed forces sufficiently for an attack to the West, DGAP reports. The direction of the Russian attack 
could include the Baltic states, DGAP adds. Quote, the window for a possible Russian attack will open once Russia believes that an attack, for example, on the Baltic states could be successful. For his part, Czech President Petri Pavel seems to agree more with the German think tank's prediction, European Pravada reports. <clears throat> Much, excuse me, will depend on Ukraine, he added, speaking at the summit of heads of state in Vosgrad. Quote, on the other hand, there are many variables in the calculations that change the, uh, the situation. It will really depend on the outcome of the war in Ukraine, Pavel said, we know what that outcome is going to be. NATO calls for military, I don't know, what's this, Shenanigan, S-C-H-E-N-G-E-N, zone in Europe. Troop mobility must be increased. Head of NATO Logistics Command, JSEC Lieutenant <clears throat> Alexander Solfrank, told Routers in an interview that he would like to see the creation of a military zone in Europe. Solfrank and the head of NATO's military commission, Admiral Rob Bauer, consider it necessary to significantly, significantly supply the alliance's logistics. The main reason is said to be given military actions against Russia, given the events taking place in Ukraine. Quote, the ability to move NATO troops quickly across Europe is an important part of maintaining NATO's combat capability. The mobility of units is hampered by certain conditions, many of which need to be removed, such as advance notices when crossing borders, reports of the health of military personnel, the composition and length of military, etc. NATO's desire to have a military version of that zone in Europe so that the alliance's armed forces can move freely and oppose Russia's has raised tension and is a cause for concern, the Kremlin said. Politico, the time to tear up the NATO-Russia Foundation Act. American political scientist John Dennis, in his article for Politico, calls for the cancellation of the NATO-Russia Founding Act. We remind you that in 1997, the quote-unquote Founding Act was signed between NATO and Russia through which Moscow accepted the enlargement, but in exchange that NATO will not station permanent forces in Eastern Europe. Dennis specifically states, quote, <coughs> excuse me, Central and Eastern Europe allies increasingly see their security as tied into Ukraine. So reaching consensus will not be an easy diplomatic mission. However, there may be one possible path to the outcome, dismantling the post-Cold War deal with Moscow, which is now all but dead. The time has come for that. Despite the strong demand of its NATO members from Central and Eastern Europe, NATO has not yet formally revoked the founding treaty. According to Dennis, the reason for this are complex and include the desire of some alliance members, including Germany, to maintain a balance as well as some minimal framework for possible return to normal relations with Europe, with Russia, I'm sorry. <clears throat> However, as a result of the geopolitical upheavals of recent years, Russia and NATO have made it clear that they no longer feel bound by the NATO-Russia Founding Act, the NRFA. Of course, this document was never legally binding anyway. So, um, I, th I think it's going to break out before three years. I think when the rapture happens, which is about to happen, everything's going to happen at once. World War, bombs dropping, people disappearing. And you imagine this line I'm sitting in for food? It's going to be ten times the length. If anything's even going to be up and running. You don't want to be here for what's about to happen in this world. You don't. So, how are we rapture ready? We've repented. Metanoia, it's a change of mind. We don't put our faith and trust in this world. Nothing this world offers. We want. We want to go home. We, want, we believe in Yeshua, our King. And we live for Him, our Heavenly Father. Not this world. And we believe Jesus is the only way to heaven. He is the only way to God the Father. And you will be rapture ready. No, I know times are tough. I know times are tough, but take a minute during the day whenever you have time from work or watching the grandkids to admire the beauty that's still in the world. Beautiful day. We don't have a cloud in the sky right now, but it's cold. <laughs> <clears throat> or I'm cold, I'm cold-natured. <laughs>
I mean, I'm always cold. But then, let me take that back. I'm hot, too, because I'm going through menopause. One minute I'm cold, one minute I'm hot. So. Um, an ocean, a sunset. No, but um, things are going to go downhill very fast. And I said it before, and I'll say it again. Um, the regime that we have in office right now, clearly Biden isn't calling the shots. We we know who's calling the shots, and his name begins with O. Obozo, as Watchman says. Because he's not mentally... And, you know, people... Like, my niece is Democrat. I'm neither. I'm not Republican or Democrat. But my niece is Democrat, and she even sees that he's a, he's a con and darkness in his eyes and, and, and a cheat. And he's not mentally capable. So... You know, anybody, believe it or not, there are still people that vote for him and support him. Do you really want, because he, he's not, he doesn't know left from right. He doesn't know frontwards from backwards. You want somebody that's in that mental condition to be holding nuclear codes? I mean, it's common sense. I don't know. I don't know. That's, maybe that's just me. <laughs> no, I think we all feel the same way. But the good news is we're about to get out of here, man, and go home. So you hang in there. You stay close to Jesus. I promise you, he's right by your side. I'm not. I'm not gonna lose faith. I'm not gonna lose faith, and I'm gonna stay close to my heavenly Father, my Yeshua, my King, because I know we're going home soon. And I will never lose faith, and I will keep looking up. Whenever the rapture happens, I will keep looking up. I love you guys. God bless you. And can you believe that the entire length of this video, my car has not moved in this line? <laughs> it's not moved once. Oh my gosh. Oh well. Keep looking up, family. Keep listening. Time is short. I know I keep saying that, but it really is. That's why all of this is happening. God bless you, and I will talk to you soon. Hope you have a wonderful day.